G'day guys, how's it going? My name's Sean and welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, consider subscribing. What I do is I make tech videos, tutorials and do the occasional review. And today we've got a cool project where we're gonna be going ahead and upgrading the hard drive from a 2012 MacBook Pro to an SSD. So let's begin. Today I wanted to share with you a project that I've been working on with a friend for a little while now. Uh, the inspiration was that she has a old 2012 MacBook Pro. Um, she's had this MacBook Pro now for a number of years and she's been telling me that it's been running quite slow. Uh, she doesn't really have the money to go ahead and you know, spend a few thousand dollars on a new computer and was asking me if there was anything that she could do to make it run faster. So I knew straight away the easiest thing to do would be to replace the mechanical hard drive that's in this laptop with something like a Kingston SSD. Um, so I actually did a video about this um, about a week ago and I've got one in my personal PC. So what we're going to be doing today is taking out the hard drive in the MacBook Pro and upgrading it to an SSD and that's going to make everything a whole lot better for her. So I'm going to share with you the steps um, involved in order to go from a hard drive to an SSD in case that's something that you're interested in doing yourself. Step one was what we need to do is grab an external hard drive to back up all of her data as we're going to be changing it from a mechanical hard drive to an SSD. In case it isn't clear already, you need to make sure you back up everything first so that way you don't lose anything of importance along the way. So because she had a lot of data, it took around about 12 hours to back up everything using Time Machine. So just take that into consideration if you do have a lot of data. Uh, that was roughly about 300 to 400 gigabytes worth of data. If it's less, then obviously it's gonna take less time. Step two is what we needed to do is create a bootable USB drive with the installation for macOS Mojave. So that was the latest version of macOS that's out. So I had a 16 gig USB drive uh, just sort of laying around. If you don't have one, you can pick them up fairly cheaply, 10, $20, something like that. And I'll leave links to everything down below as well. So that way, in case you're wondering on how to create the bootable uh, USB drive, um, I'll leave some instructions there for that as well. Okay, so now step three is actually going ahead and once you've done the time machine backup, you've created your USB, step three is to get the MacBook Pro. We're gonna be unscrewing the bottom cover. So I'm gonna flip it over here. Um, for the sake of the video and for time, I've already taken the screws out using a Phillips head screwdriver on this model and we're gonna take the bottom cover off the MacBook Pro. And then the second thing we need to do is take or disconnect the battery. So we don't want any, uh, any power running through the computer while we're doing this. Then with the same Phillips head screwdriver, we're gonna be taking out a small bracket um, that holds the hard drive in place, removing that bracket. So that bracket should look like something like this. And then we're gonna take the hard drive out and then using the pull tab, pull out the hard drive and remove the connector for that as well. So we'll put that to the side. And then actually, Again, for the sake of the video, there are some little um, screws on the side of the hard drive that you also need to remove, which if you've got what's called a T5 um, type screwdriver, you can use that to go ahead and remove those screws. And I'll again leave links down below to maybe the tools that you need in case you don't have them already. Once you've taken those screws out, you need to go ahead and put them into your SSD. So I've already got them pre-installed here and we're gonna go ahead and just slot that in to the connector, put that into the brackets, the same brackets that the old hard drive was in, put the little bracket back over the top and we're gonna screw that in with that Phillips head screwdriver. Pretty straightforward and simple. Once that's all done and you're happy with it, go ahead and plug the battery back in and then we're gonna put the bottom cover to the MacBook Pro back on and then we're just gonna go ahead and all of the little screws that come from the Mac Pro before, we're just gonna re, I guess, re-screw those back into the original places. So this whole process of taking out the old hard drive and putting in the SSD shouldn't really take you more than, you know, maybe 10 or 15 minutes. But take your time. Okay, so now that you've got the bottom cover back on, the next step in step four is to get your bootable USB that you should have created in step two. And you're just gonna plug that into the USB drive. And when you turn on the computer, 
you're going to turn it on and then hold down the option key immediately so that's going to give you the chance to go into the bootloader and choose to boot off the usb drive so that's then going to allow you to install the operating system onto the ssd so step five is once you're at the i guess the screen which allows you to then choose or install the operating system you need to just go into disk utility first as the ssd drive hasn't been i guess formatted in its correct profile yet so you need to open up disk utility and go ahead and format it um, as a mac os journaled drive once you've done that then you can exit disk utility or back out of that application and then you'll be able to actually select the ssd which you've installed and you've given it a name i've for the sake of this video called it Macintosh HD just to keep it easy and then you can press continue. So the whole installation process for copying all the files and installing uh, the operating system shouldn't take you more than 60 minutes. Step six is once the installation of the operating system has finished, which again shouldn't take more than 60 minutes or so, then you need to go through and create your account as your computer is essentially treating it as if it's the first time an operating system uh, has been installed. So none of your, obviously your old settings are there yet. So you need to create an account name, uh, set a password, choose all your you know, particular settings as you're going along. And then you'll be prompted for the option of either plugging in that, um, that Toshiba hard drive or that external hard drive you have to restore your time machine backup. Or the other option is you can skip that keep continuing all the way through until you hit the desktop and once you're there you can still plug in your your hard drive and you can actually just browse the hard drive and all the files that are on there and just manually pick and choose the files that you need essentially that way you're not having to worry about uh, corrupting the OS with uh, all of the profile and settings from your previous installation so all if you if you just want your, your raw data like your pictures and music documents I would actually probably recommend just manually copying that data back and then um, obviously the other thing you need to do is just then go online and just download any of the applications you may need Okay, so now that you've hopefully gone ahead and followed those steps and you're now ready to go ahead and do the installation, I'll just quickly share with you some of the performance results that I got going from the old hard drive to the SSD. So that way you can get an idea of, um, I guess, what kind of performance you'll gain as well. All right guys, so thanks for watching this video. Um, one other added mention is that with the battery life, we actually did get an improvement in battery life. We went from about three and a half hours to just over five hours um, with total battery life. So that's, I guess, uh, just another added benefit. Uh, if you have any questions about this video, please leave them down below in the comments. You can reach out to me on Facebook and Instagram, and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.